Hi everyone, Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com. Happy Wednesday. Coming at you with 2022 Bowman Chrome Baseball Hobby Edition. Pick your team number 18. Right here, big thanks to, there's the printout out of my printer. Big thanks to this group, hot off the presses, for getting into the action here on Wednesday, December 7th. Mark, you ended up with Last Spot Mojo with the Tigers. If you have a rooftop next to your name, that means you... Um, you won that spot in the team random. Thanks everybody for getting in, appreciate it. We got uh, another case in the store <clears throat> right now. So there's the uh, fresh case right here. And another hobby case in the store. We don't have any more HTA at the moment. I'm sure we're on the hunt for more of that. box break and another 12 boxes in the store right now we also have if you're into this we also have a uh, double header two hobby cases on jazbeescasebreaks.com if you want to get into that All right, now anybody uh, actually in this break watching live? What's up, Rex? What's going on? <clears throat> all right, all right, we got Mark here. Mark L is here. He's got the Tigers. He's got Last Spot Mojo. 70% of the time, Last Spot Mojo hits 100% of the time. Yeah, and we'll find some torques in here. Brace, can't wait for Flaws Football. Me too. We're just five spots away from unlocking that break. Hopefully we can get that last filler done. It could be right after this break if you want it to be. First time is Last Spot Mojo, all right. Let's see how it works out for you. Kind of feels like a Bowman Chrome new release day, ladies and gentlemen. <clears throat> Excuse me. We did a double header earlier tonight. We did an HTA case, and now we're doing another hobby case. Remember, these are not numbered, so we're breezing by these. And we're going to start off with Jeremy Vargas, Joshua with the Brewers, and we will do an autograph recap along with any other low numbered cards at the end of the break. So if you're re-watching this video and you don't want to watch the whole thing, you don't have to. Just fast forward towards the end of the video. It's Henry Davis to 150, former number one overall pick. The Pirates will get another number one overall pick too. Again, in this upcoming draft. Here's Christian Vasquez for Joshua and the Nationals. Got Jason Curio for Cleveland, also for Josh. And Don got the Pirates. It's the Shades of Greatness Atomic Refractor. And nice orange auto, Ricardo Cabrera. 16 out of 25.
That'll be for the red legs. That's going to go to uh, go to Dan. There you go, Dan. Sal Freelich for the Brewers to 125. Joshua with the Brew Crew. All right, one box down. Let's go with another box. Mark, what do you got? You got Celtics on as well? In fact, I'm, I may change Celtic Suns. How's that game going? I might have to change this channel here. I was watch, watching Lakers at Toronto. No LeBron, no Anthony Davis. So you can, you can guess as to what happened. The ESPN game is Atlanta and the Knicks. That's almost done. Oh, that game's coming up. Yeah, coming up next, Boston at Phoenix. Oh, okay. Yeah, Knicks are gonna Knicks are winning comfortably here. It's oops, sorry, camera. Knicks are winning com comfortably, one hundred eight to eighty three. Do you think do you think Judge surprised a lot of people not signing with the Giants? What was I saying all off season long? I was like, everyone was saying, hey, that there's the there's the the home narrative. He's gonna go back home narrative. And I said, I don't know. Take that take that with a grain of salt. That home narrative doesn't always always work out. No way the no way the Yankees are just gonna let him let him walk or lowball him. It'd be bad for the Yankees as a team, bad for Yankees PR. But a lot of people had it in their heads. He's going to go back home. He was a Giants fan. And all off season long, I was saying, listen, going back home is a blessing and a curse. Sure, you go back home, but a lot of people come out of the woodwork. Where's tickets? Sign this, sign that. Hey, help my restaurant out. Come stop by. And, you know, the money. <laughs> Yankee Yankees definitely had to def the Yankees definitely had to, you know, put a lot of money down for him. Give him the exact years he wanted. Outbid the Giants. There's Willie Fannis, two thirty seven to two ninety nine speckle. That's for the Mets. That'll be for Joshua. Stephen Kwan for Cleveland to 250. That will be for Joshua as well. Yeah, I guess a good amount of people were surprised. But the people who know baseball, I don't think, I don't think they were too surprised. Is Jorge Barosa, Joshua with the Diamondbacks. Now Kenley Jansen signing a two-year thirty-two million dollar deal. That was a little surprising. There's Yankil Fernandez, he's going to Boston to two ninety nine. A nice prospect going to Joshua and the Rockies. Right, yeah, no one in New England thought Judge was leaving. They were hoping. But no, I mean, no one thought he was leaving. I feel like the ones who made the biggest noise were, were, were optimistic Giants fans. Yeah, what's the latest from New England, Mark, on Xander Bogarts? The, the reports that I'm seeing are that 
they are making some progress in retaining Xander Bogarts. And how do you feel about that uh, that Japanese outfielder? I think outfielder, I think, that you guys signed? Yeah, Masataka Yoshida, five-year deal. Maybe we, we finally chase him away, Rex. Five years, 85, uh, maybe a little, no, five-year, $90 million deal. No options, no opt-out clauses. And he only had just been posted this week. And then he's picked up pretty pretty quickly. I guess the Red Sox had already been scouting him, already had a relationship with him, but give you some outfield help. One of the most accomplished hitters in Japan for the past few seasons. He appeared in the uh, Nippon Professional Baseball League for the last seven years, carries a 327, 421, 4, 539 slash line. Gets on base a lot, more than 40% of his plate appearances. Topped 1,000 OPS for the first time in 2022. Exceptional bat-to-ball skills. Walking more that he struck out. Etc., etc., etc. Maybe get a little power from him. Maybe get some good, good defense from him. All right, next box. Got Samuel Zavala, 156 out of 199. And there's another Asian hitter here. This one's Korean, Won Bin Cho. Also has seems seems to have a decent ceiling too. I think one of the rare Asian players I think selected out of shortly out of high school. It's Vlad Guerrero Jr. To seventy five yellow parallel. That's going to go to Joshua and Toronto. Uh, one bin will go to Michael and the Cardinals. Randy Arozarena, Refractor, for Jacob and the Rays. And there's Evan Lee, Joshua with the Nationals. Yeah, I'm not sure what his outfield position is. It seems to be suggested, not in this MLBTradeRumors.com article, but I think I read in another article that that uh, center field with Verdugo and um, and Kike flanking him on either side is what I thought I saw. And there's a torque for you, Mark. Hopefully, first of many. Jason Curio refractor, nice. One thirteen out of four ninety nine. For Joshua in Cleveland. And Wander Franco, that'll be for Jacob and the Rays. First quarter of the break done, second quarter underway. And then first quarter of Celtic Suns underway. Looks like full straight lineups for both teams. Except for the Suns, I think they're starting Tory Craig. I think Cameron Johnson or Cameron Payne is injured. I think Tory Craig is getting that start in that slot. Um, I don't know. What, what other news is happening here? Twins, 
this is just speculation here, but twins among teams with interest in Danzig Swanson. Sure, a lot of teams are. Braves acquired Joe Jimenez from the Tigers. A sign of Ledmes Diaz. Rex, how do you feel about the uh, Wilson Contreras? What, Rex is a big Cubs fan. Wilson Contreras to the Cardinals, your rivals, for a five year deal. Averaging about $17 million a year. Met signing Jose Quintana to a two-year deal. Yeah, Wilson Contreras will be in St. Louis. Five years, $87.5 million. I think Rex at one point was, was about to give him $150 million. But that sounds about right for Wilson Contreras. All right, there's a Julio Rodriguez rookie card and an Eric Hernandez to 250 Purple Shimmer. For the White Sox, Joshua with the Mariners. It's a bummer. It is what it is. Says Rex, yeah. There's uh, Anthony Pinheiro. Joshua with the Brew Crew. Francisco Alvarez, 88 out of 99 for the Mets. Joshua with the Mets as well. Yeah, well, sure. If it could have been a 10-year deal, yeah, but... No one's paying a 30-year-old catcher. No one's giving him a 10-year deal. Thirty-one by the time the season starts. 155 out of 299, Byron Buxton, twins. That's gonna be for Peter. And a Quincy Hamilton. I thought the Astros were going to be really in on Wilson Contreras. I don't know. I wonder how close they got. One sixty-one to four ninety-nine. Anthony with the Strohs. Edison Paulino to four ninety-nine for the Red Sox. That will be for Joshua and Boston. Another box. True. Yeah, no one thought Turner would get 11. And Judge will. Well, Judge still got only got 9, right? But that's a completely different position from a from from the catcher position. Wilson Contreras was five years younger. Did anyone think Judge would get more than eight? Yeah, I think everybody. Because the reports were Aaron Judge looking for a nine-year deal. And, Aaron, and what Aaron Judge wants, Aaron Judge gets. I mean, what are you, that, and, that's, and that's such a unique position for a player like him. To have the season he had in a walk year? No, definitely a nine. The Yankees, Aaron Judge agreed to a nine-year deal, which is what he was looking for. He's one of the few times a free agent of his caliber could just dictate terms like that. Basically, it was... 
nine years, minimum $300 million, and then let the bidding war ensue. There's Liam Spence, Speckle Autograph to 299. But yeah, Aaron Judge, maybe last week, had said, or the reports were saying, that his camp, the judge camp looking for nine years. And he got it. Now, the back end of that deal could look really ugly. But that's what you had to do. You had to add those years to secure his services. Vlad Guerrero Jr., 99, Joshua with the Blue Jays. There's Vicaro for Josh and the Nats. And Josh also has Cleveland. Gets the Jason Curio. Matt Chapman, Blue Jays, 128 to one to 499 refractor. And Andy Thomas. It's for Joshua and the M's. And when I'm start start ripping the next box, I got a little uh, teaser headline for you. Um, where to go? I, lo I lost the article. Oh, so according to MLBTradeRumors.com, headline: Padres made strong offer for Aaron Judge. This is Roberto Campos to 499. Padres are really uh Padres are really trying to spend money. I think they made a big offer for for uh Trey Turner. A bigger offer than at least dollar wise a bigger offer than um than the Phillies. Trey Turner was always Always had his eyes looking east, though. And they made a strong offer for Aaron Judge. So this morning, the report was, earlier this morning, the Aaron Judge bidding was widely believed to be a two-team battle between the Yankees and the Giants. In the end, the Judge is returned to the Bronx. But there was a surprise third team that sat down at the table. We were talking about this mystery third team. Who would that be? And apparently, it was the Padres, according to Jeff Passan. Padres came in with a, quote, significant offer. And there were, and John Morosi saying that Judge turned down higher offers elsewhere to return to the Yanks. Wow, so <laughs> poor Padres. They're shooting their shot. No one wants to dance with them. Trey Turner was offered $342 million by the Padres. And then he ended up signing with the Phillies for 300. And a later report, Bob Nightingale reporting that the Padres' offer was $400 million over 10 years. And then later in the afternoon, Ken Rosenthal uh, reporting that the team did not offer Judge $400 million. Hmm. And Judge uh, is reported to get a nine-year deal for 360 with the uh, with the Yankees. Pending physical, blah 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 blah. Yeah, what? No, no, no. I don't see anything on that yet. Not at least not according to MLBTradeRumors.com. No word on what the Giants ended up offering him. Let me scan through this article really quick. Doesn't seem to say. Well, Padres want to spend money. Now where is that money going to go? Everyone knows they have 300 plus million dollars that they're willing to spend. There's Francisco Alvarez, Orange Shimmer to 25. I mean, Carlos Correa, the next, the next person to chase in this free agent market, which is actually not super deep in terms of superstar players. There's Yasser Mercedes for the Twins. 
will be for Peter. And nice, a Roderick Arias autograph. Joshua with the Yankees. Haven't seen one of his autos in a minute or two. There you go, Joshua got in at the right time. It's my little box dust, top loader dust here, but I think that could be easily cleaned up. There's Rosemary Quintana to 150, 50 out of 150. Yeah, that's got to be the the record for a position player, right? It's forty million dollars a year. I think only, I think only Verlander and Scherzer probably make more on an average annual value basis. But I think you're right, Rex. I think position player. I think it's the mo I think it's because it's more than Trout, right? I think Trout was like maybe. 37-ish, 38-ish million dollars a year. There's Royland Mashandi. For Houston, that's for Anthony. And Jackson Job. 7 out of 75 for the Tigers. That'll be for Mark. And another Yank Hill Fernandez. All right, halfway through this case. Now entering the third quarter of the break. People were wondering if Aaron Judge would be the first $400 million contract player, though. Did not quite get there. It's going to happen someday. I mean, does Otani get $400 million? How old is Otani again? He's uh he's 28, turns 29 in the middle of the season next year. That's right, Rex. I, you know what, Rex? I even reported that days earlier than MLBTradeRumors.com. I just I think the Dodgers front office wary of. Uh, of re-signing Carlos Correa because, you know, because of the history. And I don't know if Carlos Correa would even want to sign here because the first time he goes 0 for 4, you know, yeah, the bell wanted to ring. The first day he goes 0 for 4, he's getting booed by fans. I'm, I'm almost guaranteeing that. He's not getting Freddie chants like Freddie Freeman. But I think more than that, I think that, that's, that's, the, that's the headline that's going to get the clicks, right? The real reason is the Dodgers are not, being, are not willing to, uh, to sign really long-term deals. I think Correa is looking for a longer-term deal. I think he already tried the, the short-term deal with the options with Minnesota. It's a cleaner top loader here. I think he opted out because he wants to wants to get a crack at a long-term deal here. 108 out of 250 Purple Chrome. Autograph Brewers, Joshua. Wander Franco for Jacob and the Rays. Ooh, that's why the bell wanted to ring. Leonardo Balcazar. I didn't even, I didn't even notice this. The bell knows all. The bell has the power of foresight. The bell can see into the future, ladies and gentlemen. The time bell. 
Red parallel for the Reds. Nice little color match. Dan bought the Cincinnati Reds straight up out of fives and under. Get the train whistle. All aboard the Big Hit Express. Woo -woo. Your number 27 Reds prospect, Corny Baseball America. The all knowing bell. Bell's like, hey, I got something to say. That's what the bell is saying. I got, some, I got things. I got something to say, Joe. There's a Wander Franco, magenta, one hundred seven out of two ninety nine. That's nice. That will be for Jacob and the Tampa Bay Rays. This could be a $400 million guy right here, believe it or not. Could Bobby Wood Jr. be a $400 million? Darren Judge didn't quite get there. Didn't quite get to being a $400 million man. There's Daniel McIlvenny to going to uh, Joshua and the Red Sox. Blaze Jordan, blazing trails here out of 499. And here is your uh, one per case, Bowman Ascensions insert. Hedbert Perez for the Brew Crew, Joshua Edlitz. Sometimes we've seen two, but generally, generally one per case. All right, another box. Yeah, Otani is going to be 29 in, by, uh, at, uh, in July, next July. Is he going to be a $400 million man? I think there are a lot of concerns privately that at some point in the near future, in the next three to five seasons, Maybe a little bit more, maybe a little bit less, who knows. A lot of, a lot of scouts think uh, he's going to have to pick a side. He's going to have to pick one. He's going to have to be a pitcher or a hitter. You know, that at some point you have to pick one. You know, he's not going to be 39 years old. You know, I mean, maybe he could, but there, there might be more, there might be more rest days available that you'd have to do, which again, devalues that contract, but he's not, not playing every day like he's doing now. But to make him a, a $400 million man, 29 years old, signing him into a 10 year deal, $40 million a year, something like that. Maybe eight or nine years, but at a higher average annual value, just to get to 400. Could he be a $400 million man? I guess any team that's making a pitch to him, I guess would feel like they'd have to draw out a plan of here's what we're gonna do and why for the next 10 years. Yeah, because you could shift him over to be right. Exactly. No, a 30-year-old pitcher is not going to get... Are they going to get a 10-year deal? I don't know how many 10-year deals are being handed out to, uh, to top pitchers, but... Dalen Leal to 499 Washington, Joshua, but... You could shift Otani over to one side or the other. Mark with the White Sox with the Jake Berger. Is that Colton Cowser different? No, it's just refractor.
Yeah, Garrett Cole got a nine-year deal when he was 29. Those are some of the... Might be a, a rare exception, though. Javier Baez to four ninety nine. Ricardo Cabrera, Reds. That's going to be for Dan. Javier Baez to four ninety nine. That's for Detroit. That'll be for Mark. And Randy Arozarena, one eleven out of one ninety nine. Tampa Bay Rays. That'll be for Jacob. Got uh, Celtics at Phoenix on in the background. Boston up early, 30 to 19. 40 seconds left in the first quarter. This is the last box of the third quarter of this break. So what what other free agents are are left? Right? The I think the the best catcher on the board was Wilson Contreras. There's some others on 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 the free agent list, but that was the best catcher. He's off the board. Rizzo, first base, signed re-signed with the Yankees pretty early on. Trey Mancini's a free agent. Will Myers free, Miguel Sano, some free agents there. Nothing too exciting on the second base side of things. Right, so then, then it's just Xander Bogarts. who's looking more like the Red Sox are going to re-sign him. But Xander Bogarts is still technically out there. And then Dansby Swanson, Carlos Correa. I guess if the Xander domino falls, then that'll pretty much set the tone for Carlos Correa to sign. And then there'll be Dansby Swanson after that. Going down the list, third base, nothing too crazy on the third base side of things. Justin Turner's still out there. Dodgers might have to re-sign him for like a quick little year deal, end his career as a Dodger. I actually think J.D. Martinez is still out there, right? That's not a huge name, but a well-known name. He's still out there. And maybe... Uh, Couple international names kind of coming through the ranks. Yeah, that, that that's that's about it. There's Aces Max Muncy, fifty-three out of ninety-nine. They just had to get another Max Muncy back. Matthew with the A's. Color match with the green shimmer. And J.T. Schwartz, 50 out of 75. Yeah, it did. I agree. That, that free agent, baseball free agency, went pretty quickly. The big names just getting knocked down by, by uh, you know, by the winter meetings. It sounds like some of the other deals for, like, Correa and Xander that might be wrapped up by this weekend. Big names off the board, just like that. And then after that, it'll just be just kind of, kind of filling in roster spots and getting some of the the old veterans on short deals, kind of kind of things. There's Alexander Suarez for the Giants, Joshua. Here's Ryan Doncone to 299. Torkelson. A 
Also, Xander Boger. See, now I'm wondering. It's clear that the Giants and the Padres are looking to spend big money. And uh, Padres missed out on Trey Turner. Here comes the fourth quarter of this case. Clearly lost out on Trey Turner and Aaron Judge. Giants missed out on Aaron Judge. Those are two West Coast teams right there looking to spend big money. You know, are the, like, are the Padres going to try to swoop in? Mess up that Xander Bogart seal for the Red Sox? Are they going to chase after Carlos Correa? Giants, Giants or... Giants or the uh, Padres might do that. Dansby Swanson still hanging around. You know, Rex, with free agent, see, moving along as quickly as it is, I wonder if that's going to open up um, more trades in the offseason as well. I wonder if all the big free agents get off the board pretty quickly, then maybe this early, earlier, you know, then maybe we'll start to see more trades happening, maybe in January or something like that. Once all the name free and start have been exhausted. Could be something to look at. Got a magenta Mookie Betts. Nice. 159 out of 299. For my Dodgers, that goes to Joshua and some gold. For the Royals, five out of uh, six out of fifty. Daniel Vasquez, Joshua with Kansas City, number nineteen Royals prospect. Javier Baez, Aqua Lava, one hundred five out of one ninety nine. Tigers, that'll be for Mark. Mark misses Mookie Betts. Roderick Arias, Bobby Witt Jr., and Anthony Gutierrez, 12 out of 499, Rangers Auto for Joshua. There's Adrian Placencia, 32 out of 75 for the Halos. That'll be for Josh. Yeah, Mookie Betts already one of the, the more popular players on the Dodgers. Already. I have to be honest with you, Mark. I, I kind of miss uh, Kike and Alex Verdugo. kind of feel like that. Uh, and Jock Peterson. I think the, the energy those guys brought. Maybe I wish the bats were a little bit better. But I, but I, I think the, uh, the energy that they had when they were on the Dodgers was... Something else that was maybe missing a little bit. How is uh how is Jeter Downs doing? Like wasn't Jeter Downs like the, the big prospect -y centerpiece of that deal, in addition to Verdugo, who I guess was sort of in sort of in prospect stage as well. I think Kike is an excellent fielder. Utility guy, he can play anywhere on the diamond. 
I think the only position he hasn't played is catcher. Um, but and uh, bat could be a little hot and cold. Kike's bat, but but he's also he's a smart and generally a clutch hitter. He can be pretty clutch. He can put he can make the right hit with the bat when he uh, when you ask him to. And I think Verdugo's really solid too. I think he's just going to be a solid kind of everyday guy. Should be everyday guy for years to come. Maybe knock out some all starks here and there. Jason Dominguez, 160 out of 199. Joshua with the Yankees. Gilo, what's going on? What do I think about Jansen? Kenley Jansen going to the Red Sox? I was I was a little surprised at the amount of money he got. I think his he's been he's been racking up the saves for sure, but the uh, you know his fastball's not as fast. Like you can see, all the measurables tick down a little bit. Joshua with the Rangers. 250, Kettle Marte. How do you feel about the, how do we feel about the Wilson Contreras going to the Cardinals? That deal? Gilo's asking. Yeah, we were just talking about that a little bit earlier. Um, obviously, if you're a Cubs fan like Rex, I don't think Cubs fans are terribly happy about that. Having to, he, Wilson Contreras is going to look weird in a Cardinals uniform. But I mean, we saw we saw the speculation. A lot of a lot of arrows were pointing to Wilson Contreras maybe being looked at by the Astros, the Cardinals, some other teams. Double O three out of two fifty. Cade Marlowe, blue. Lava pattern, which I think looks really sharp. That will be for Seattle. That will be for Joshua. Won that in the team random. Garrett Mitchell, magenta to 199. It's going to go to Josh and the Brew Crew. Oh, is that right? You've seen a lot of Cardinals. Well, that's yeah, that's true. They, they get, a, get a rival catcher right there. I think Cardinals fans are going to be conflicted for sure, right? They're going to get a little more pop from the from that catcher spot. You know, I'm sure an early season walk-off homer or two, I think will certainly uh, I think will certainly make that transition easier for fans. Yang, what's going on? Will there be another NT soccer break in the future? Maybe. Maybe. The one we posted most recently wasn't exactly flying off the shelves. I don't think there was a lot of interest in it. But maybe we'll just have to let those boxes marinate before we reintroduce that again. Yeah, and it's going to be where the Audi gone too. Well, that's the thing. It's, good. it's just going to be a weird transition because like the first, you know, the first uh, set of defensive miscues or, you know, defensive miscues or, uh, or a bad game, bad pitch sequencing or something. As soon as that happens, you, know, you get so used to Yachty just commanding that, that infield and everything and just being captain of that team. It's a big hole to fill. You know, there could be some booze out there. The first defensive miscue, the first base stolen, you know, something like that. Julio Rodriguez. Not that Wilson Contreras is a bad fielder, but it's just that Yachty's just been so comfortable there and elite there for such a long time. Final box. First of two autographs, Graham Ashcraft. It was all about Ash. All about that Ashcraft. That goes to Dan and the Reds.
103 out of 299. That's her Mercedes. No, that's what I'm saying. It's not that Contreras is bad, but on the defensive side of things or the pitching side of things, it's just that Yachty is just so good. Now for some Cubs fans, you know, I think this is going to be a little jarring for them. George Valera to 250. Looks like the last one's going to be a redemption. Last auto, last redemption. It's going to be for... For the Reds. Bowman Chrome Prospects autograph, Leonardo Balcazar. And that is for Dan and the Red Legs. That's the final auto. I see a blue parallel in that stack. Oh, and there's a purple one here too. Robert Hassel. To 250, Padres, Joshua, and Andrew Vaughn, blue. 93 out of 150 for the White Sox. That'll be for Mark. And that, my friends, is that. We've got another hobby pick your team case loaded up. Just a single case pick your team. We also have dual case, double header, dual case random teams. So a couple uh, Bowling Chrome hobby options for you, ladies and gentlemen. Here's a quick little recap. Thanks, my friends, for getting into this break. Thanks for watching. Thanks for hanging out with me in the chat. Got the Roderick Arias autograph for the Yankees. There's a lot of nice color on these autographs. Some pretty great stuff. Some orange. Awesome. Thanks, everybody. I'm Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com, and I will see you next time for the next break. Bye-bye.